Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina. Today I'm going to do a Dollar General and Dollar Tree haul for you. So let's jump right in. Grab yourself something to drink, sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we have is Dollar General. And I found some really cute things there. This one I know I've seen before, but I just want to show you guys anyways. A little canvas with a little easel. How cute is that? And I plan on doing something with my Cricut on it or something like that. Okay, this I'm gonna use for my son's room and I found this in their little create section. So this was a dollar and the canvas was a dollar too. Um, then I found this, which I'm thinking tear tray for sure. And it's very farmhouse. So that was a dollar. I also found these, which come on easels, and I found one in brown and one in white. Now you could paint these and put a little saying here with Cricut, or you could use um, stickers or anything like that. And these were a dollar each as well, and I just thought these were so cute. And they were on an end cap in the store. So they weren't down like the spring aisle, they were on just like the end of the aisle. I also found this sign, Hello Beautiful, and this one was $2. Then I found these in the spring section. Home Sweet Home and Enjoy the Little Things birdhouses and they come with a little attached a little hanger on it so you could go ahead and hang it wherever you want to and these were a dollar each along with those I found these which I love 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 because I love mason jars this one says love grows here this one says let your dreams grow and if you look closely, there's some screws at the top. So you can easily take that metal piece off if you want to and go ahead and paint the sign if you didn't like what it said. Or you can leave it as is and these have little hangers on them as well. Then in the spring section, this is more Easter. I found 3D egg decor for $2. And I love this because I just thought it would be pretty to paint and display. That, all right. Next, I found these Happy Easter Crafts wood plaque, which it looks like an egg for $2. I also found it in the bunny for $2. And I did a DIY with this one. Um, and it's right there, the bunny tag sign, not too long ago. So check that out if you haven't checked it out. And which seems to be the theme when it comes to Dollar Tree and Dollar General is trucks. Now this one has Easter eggs in it. This one has a little bunny butt. And they both say Happy Easter. And I just thought these were so pretty. And these are metal. They're not like a cardboard. And if you could see, it's a little bigger than 
like the palm of my hand to like my wrist. So it's a good size. Also, I found these tags, which are so cute. One says welcome and one says hello spring. Now they're 3D, so if you want, you can pry this off. And here, this one, you could take this off and paint it, make it whatever you want, or you can leave it as is. I immediately thought tear tray, always thinking tear tray. And they come with twine and little beads at the top. So I thought those were so cute. And these were a dollar each. Finally, from Dollar General. Love this. A DIY wooden truck. Now you could paint this, you could cover it in scrap of paper, look at it with the carrots on it. I mean, this is just to die for. So I hope you like that. Let me know which product was your favorite down in the comments box. And this I'm definitely going to stay tuned for a DIY with this. Okay. Now let's move on to Dollar Tree. I'm going to grab some tea. All right. So first thing I found was decor. Um, I found some good stuff in the crafter square section. So keep watching for that. And this is my first decor. Preaching your story gives God glory. And these are like the like the other one I hauled the song one these are a hollow box so these would be great to paint over and do something with or you could use the other side and do like a shadow box with it inside and this way you can use this side too so you could switch it out so there's that one there's this one he makes all things new And there's God is my refuge and strength. And these are just really pretty. I also found this little sign. And it comes with the sawtooth hanger on the back. So you can hang it up. And my plan was for this was to DIY it, paint over it, and make something else out of it but it's cute even if you want to use it as is. Okay, now moving on to the crafter square section. Some wood stuff. So this, I found these wooden cups and this is great for like a pencil cup or something like that or you could turn it over and use it like that but I found one in a circle and one in a square. These I thought were so cute. And like I said, they're wooden and they're called wood pen holders. So that's what they're kind of marking them as, but you could really use them for anything. Also, I found these wood craft cubes and it's a solid cube with all size empty just just an empty wooden cube and I thought this is great for DIY I could make so many things out of this and this is 2.25 inches Then I also found some of the laser cut words, which is new to my Dollar Tree. I know it's not new out there, but it's new to my Dollar Tree. Um, so I got the one that says hugs and memory. 
and the one that says magic and love. And these are three of them, right? Yes, three piece for a dollar. So three piece for a dollar, that's a really good deal. All right, also I found stickers. So I found this glass sticker, it says KISS. I found one in Paris, I love Paris. I found one that says DREAM. I don't know if you can see that with this dream catcher. I found this one, which is just pretty floral. It looks like a doily almost. Like a doily flower. And I found this one, which is like a nautical theme. And these are to be used on glass. It says magic on, and it's three piece. So you get three pieces on it. And some of them are four piece, some of them are two piece. I also found glass stickers for like jars. So I found these. A beach theme unicorn theme which I love so magical red white and blue theme and just plain pattern they also had these they're called stickers so I'm not sure if they're sticky on the back I haven't opened them up yet, but if you can see, there are all kinds of feathers in like a metallic print, um, metallic paper. And this is 12 piece. Let's open it up and see if they're stickers like they say. They are stickers. They have little foam dots on the back that you peel off and stick down. So it's not like a regular sticker, but it's like a little 3D sticker. So those are really cute. Very pretty to use on a frame, on glass, anything. Okay, I also found these. Big dots and small dots. Now these are good, I know I've mentioned it before, to add texture to a project. So if you're wanting to add like a beaded texture to a candle holder or something like that, you can use these and paint right over them. So this one has 117 pieces in it and this one has 60 and these are larger. My favorite find, and I've been looking for these for a long time, are these greenery. Which is very farmhouse and I'm going to use for tons of DIYs. Okay, I also found more stickers. And this one is Crafter Square again. And it's just all different kinds of stuff. Hello, uh, you are my sunshine. Just thought it was pretty. They also had a Paris one. It says explore the world. And then this one I love because of the camera. The camera in it is everything and it says the journey begins and it has a little Paris sticker here 
So I thought this was super cute too. Okay, then I also found chalkboard stickers. So I found these, which are great for labeling and organization. And I found these, which are chalkboard, they're called crop it stickers. So it's literally like a whole entire piece and there's two in them. So it's a whole entire piece of just chalkboard. And there's two, so on the back, there's another one. You can do anything with these. You could probably even use these in your Cricut if you wanted to. So I was really excited about those. All right, in the floral section, I dropped a ribbon. In the floral section, I found some ribbons. I'm drinking tea from Starbucks. Delicious. I also found in the floral section ribbon. I found this farmhouse ribbon and that's what it's called. And it's like chicks, pigs, and it says Cluck Farm Fresh Organic Oink Country Family. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. I also found sunflowers. fabric roses and these are a four count for a dollar so I thought these were these would be cute in a DIY and they're they're not so much fabric it says fabric but they're not so much fabric as they are burlap they look like burlap let's see Yep, they feel like burlap too. So, those are really cute. I also found these little vine balls. I found one in black, one in brown, and one in white. And these are little fillers, cute for a tear tray. Very cute. And one more thing in the Crafter Square section, I finally found it, my Dollar Tree finally came out with it, is the air dry clay. And this is an 8.8 .8 ounce package, and it's 24 hours approximate drying time. No kiln or oven needed, dries hard, paintable when dry, and easy to smooth. So, that's cute. That's gonna be great for projects. Okay, moving along in the floral section, I also found these. Which I thought were so pretty. And they're just called Spike. But I love the flowers that kind of stand up. So I got two bunches of these. Okay. Sticking with floral. I also found this bucket. Now they have another bucket like this, but if you can see the flowers and gardens um, words on it are like embossed. So you're not going to be able to paint over that, that and use it for something else. But these are not. These are literally just printed on or like with a sticker, you know, on. They're not raised up, but you can easily, easily, um, paint this and distress it and use it for something. I also found two candles. 
I think they had a purple one of these as well. And let's see. This one's called Magnolia and Moth. Oh wow, that smells good. Wow, and I got it because it's teal, so it matches my craft room. And then this one's called Relax. Whoops. Mmm, that smells good. It smells almost like a, like a caramel. So I'll let you know how these burn and how the scent is on those. Okay, I found these, which they've had all the time, but I was thinking that since it's a four pack, that these might be cute to use for the bottom of a tiered tray. So I also found a tray there, this beautiful tray. It's a cake stand, but a cake tray, but I'm gonna use it for a tiered tray. But I thought that this could work as the bottom painted of the tiered tray and then use a candle holder and then another tray. So I thought these would be good. Bookends, which they had in the jot section. And these are not necessarily jot, but they are bookends. It doesn't say jot on them. So I was gonna spray paint these. And then let's see, extension cords, because I always need extension cords for some reason, <laughs> somehow, one way or another. I picked up some more of the chalkboard tags, which I used to label the drawers behind me. very cute and all you have to do is write on them with chalk with the chalk pen from Dollar Tree super cute and super easy to organize I found oh also a wall tap for more outlets I also found in the kids section um, nerf rival tactical eyewear so it's for nerf but it's their glasses that you wear and I bought these for my son so I mean a dollar for nerf that's a good deal let's see And they are ages 14 plus, and they're called tactical eyewear. A little small for me, but <laughs> they're to protect your eyes, I guess, when you're playing with Nerf guns. But these are so cute for kids and Nerf at the Dollar Tree. How can you go wrong for $1? Okay, just a few more things guys, stick with me, stick with me. I found a cute little makeup brush that's all glittered. I found in the electrical aisle, Polaroid tempered glass for my phone. So it's tempered glass, screen protector, shatterproof, touch sensitive, easy installation, and scratch proof. And it's Polaroid. So name brand, Dollar Tree. A dollar. In the hair section, I found these, which were so different. I just had to try them. They're called Gimme, and they're 12 hair drive shower bands. So they're up and dry shower hair bands, shower hair collection, 
water and mildew resistant hook and store in shower. So they have a hook on the back, like a little suction cup, and you go ahead and you keep them in the shower and then you can use them for your hair when you need them. So I thought that was really cool. And it says no snag. So definitely something to try. Keep your eye out for these. Very different products. I've never seen something like that. And I like the packaging on it. Okay, just a couple more things. I found antibacterial wipes, which I love to keep in the car. I also found prayer cards, which I was really excited to find these. It includes 20 prayer and scripture cards. And they're by Crown Jewels. All right. On to snacks. For my kids, I found Keebler Fudge Stripe Cookies and PJ Masks Cookies. So name brands and Disney characters. They're going to love these. And last but not least, I found some books. Actually, I lied. I have a couple more things. I'm sorry. Stay with me. The Confusion of Languages. It's a book. I really needed books for the pages. I need the pages in them so I could do a DIY with them. But these just looked interesting, so I figured why not read them first. My Life in Dioramas and The Confusion of Languages. So there's those two. And these are really big books. One is retails for $26, this one. This other one retails for $14.95. And then my find of the books is New York Cooks, 100 Recipes from the City's Best Chefs. And this one retails for $29.95. And I just thought that this was, had great recipes in it. Great pictures. And it's by New York Chefs. So, I was excited to find that. All right. A couple more things. One thing I found were these plates, which I loved because they're rectangles. And this was in the party section. So I thought those were pretty. Then I needed a trash can for my craft room. So Dollar Tree is good for trash cans and house supplies. Then I also found these by the register. Hello Beautiful. And it's like that neoprene um, material, like a scuba suit. And it's called a cosmetic bag. But you could use it for anything. And then I found these, which are new. One says believe and one says stay magical. And they're chalkboards on the bottom. So what I think I'm going to do is remove this part and use painter's tape and paint over this and leave the chalkboard part. And then you can change out the ribbon, of course. So I thought those were super cute. So that's it. Thank you for sticking with me. If you made it through to the end, leave me an emoji down below. I'm um, sorry for taking so long. It's been almost 30 minutes. But we had a lot of stuff to go through. And I'm glad you stuck with me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.